Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we'll be making the combustor. So you know, ratchet pistol. Oh come on. Oot. So yeah, as you can see, I can move the camera and the character and stage is locked onto target as soon as I'm in range but I can like shoot freely. That I've just visualized the Reka so you can see what's up, you know, easy stuff. Uh, the aiming can be improved, but we don't know how someone would want this to behave with a controller, joystick, or with a mouse. So it's kind of hard to decide which pro to do. So let's get into it. Uh, you know, new folder, uh, new icon. You know, where to find it? I'll upload it. Also, take a look at the form post. Uh, the widget that we place on top of the actor, so world space to screen space, and you can do this however you like. You can have a highlight or whatever, it's entirely up to you as soon as you've made the framework. So, the bullet, the combustor ammo that gives uh, from 10 to 30, and the actual combustor itself. So, yeah, don't remember, don't forget, go to the character. Weapon name to class and just add the combustor, so that's that. Um, yeah, pretty simple icon as well, you know. Set it on. You check here level 1, max level 3, ammo 50, max ammo 50. Uh, weapon name combustor, weapon ammo class combustor ammo, ammo price 10, animation type rifle. So, begin play. First we do the level thing, you know, it's level, it's 50 and then one credit extra ammo. Uh, we create the target widget and we set to a variable. <coughs> this is what we will use to draw this target text and then on level up, we just do the same thing, you know. You should have learned that by now. So, yeah, on the far pressed, if we've got um, enough ammo and we can shoot with an negate the ammo set can shoot false down here we said the can shoot the true uh, with a delay of 4.2 we also play the call montage and shoot a bullet so yeah that's that I'll explain that later so let's get into the actual tick so we grab the character if uh, this screen grab on script which is what we do in the brief tutorials as well we just get the initial location and direction this as well as the direction is just stolen from the previous tutorials if you watched the previous weapons you know what we do there so yeah there's that and then because we use the control uh, the control rotation to get the initial direction right here on the z-axis we can just move up and down you can mess around with that however you like 5000 unreal units to range even vector math trade channel visibility let me just turn the back type to none so on the hit result, if the object name is equal to proximity aim, so if we go back here to my target practice, so I did the new sphere, come on, zoom in, that's it, so called proximity aim, you know, uh, you just want the collision preset of that to be ignore everything uh, but trace on the visibility channel so we don't collide with that but the trace respond we can handle that accordingly so yeah you know we may tinker it in the future tutorials who knows and then if it's equal to proximity aim we just uh, set the target lock to true now this part and this go together so if this is true this is valid and set if this is false this is not valid and set so if we've got a target we're obviously going to check if the widget is valid now if it's valid we're going to set it to uh, visible or not visible if uh, this convert world location to clear to screen location result I followed uh, this tutorial Oh, not that Chrome window, that Chrome window. So, yeah, from the Unreal Legend developer. So, check that out if you want to know more about that. I'll provide the link. So, yeah, and then we just set its position and this a new feature. So, just take it if it's not ticked by default. Now, <coughs> if the target lot lock is not set, so if you haven't hit the proximity aim, if we're not looking towards 
something we set the and the target widget is valid we just set it uh, set the widget to hidden now when they begin play yeah you know we just spawn it hidden as well so all right so let's check out the shoot bullet function we have two cases if the target's locked and if not if it's not we're just going to grab the location direction and set the scale you know standard stuff and then just spawn the combustor bullet now when the combustor bullet spawns it just sets the forward velocity automatically so then begin play 2000 annual units per second so yeah pretty fast and yeah when it yeah this i'll talk about later so if there is an actor set, we don't care where the player looks, we just want the bullets to travel towards the set target, so we're just going to calculate the new direction based on the actor's location, make the rotation, set the bullets so it goes there, and also set it to homing so we don't want it to like miss the target because the players have aimed at it and it's kind of hard to work around with physics when the bullets are not just ray casts. So, Grab the project column movement, set it to homing, and then grab the target's root component and set it as the target component. Now, the combustor bullet, pretty simple, you know, sphere with project column movement, sphere, 0.3 scale, so it's kind of small. Collision presets, uh, yeah, collision enabled pretty much, block everything and ignore visibility traces. You know, it's a projectile, we don't want our aim to fuck up. Sometimes with the previous traits we do in the combustor to check if the if we aim at an actor. So now event graph on component heat of the sphere. If the heat player is somehow our player character, we want to do nothing, and then just basically apply damage to the heat actor. New damage type called energy bullet damage type, so we know what's up. Event into gear damage closure base damage five, and then destroy the actor. We can mess around with this damage further. So, yeah, let's take a look at the, let's close all of them, let's take a look at what's going on in the widget. So, I've deleted the canvas here, so because we want something dynamic, just read the tutorial, I'll just provide a quick overview. We have some text here on the graph, we just do this set alignment thing, this mess around with the origins of the elements, for example, this target which is inside the horizontal box and then when we set the widget location it just works so it's pretty much math you have to understand how the ui works so yeah that's pretty much it and as you can see just works so thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial